in the last video we spoke about the equation of a straight line with respect to linear regression so this was our problem we wanted to predict the price of a house based on its size okay <coughs> and this was our straight line which is a regression line and the equation was y equal to mx plus c now y is y is dependent variable since the price of house depends on the size of house which is x and price is y so the price of house depends on the size of house larger the house greater is greater is the price hence this is our dependent variable since it depends on x okay and m here m is slope okay and slope if you observe is different for all the points so if you take one point here the slope is different if you take one point here the slope is different if you take other point here slope is different so slope varies with respect to the points or observations in the linear regression however this c would remain constant throughout the line so c c stand for constant and that is uh, constant throughout the observation or throughout the line why is it constant since c is the uh, point of intersection of the line with the x axis sorry y axis okay and there could be only one point where the line can intersect the y axis okay now the whole thing about linear regression is to find a best fit line among the observation so what we have here we have so many observations okay we have so many observations and we just want to find a best fit line among these observation okay so this could be a best fit line or this could be a best fit line even this could be a best fit line i can't say it manually there should be some mathematical intuition behind it right so in this video we are gonna go ahead and talk about that we'll talk about something called absolute trick okay absolute trick and that trick would help us to find a best fit line okay so let's go ahead and take just one point and talk about that so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna draw the whole thing again okay and let's say we have a point or observation here and this is our, okay and the equation of line is this of course now now my goal is to reach closer to this point so that my estimation or prediction could be accurate right what i observe this is my actual value this is my actual value okay but what my algorithm has predicted this so this is my predicted value okay this is my predicted value actual value is denoted by y and predicted value is denoted by y hat okay so there is some kind of error in my algorithm and that error is actual value minus predicted value right so y minus y hat this is my error in the algorithm my goal is to minimize this error and move closer to this point right how do we reach closer to this point we will learn that so there are two ways to get closer to this point okay either we can make use of this uh, constant here okay if you notice that if i can increase the value of c the point would move little bit up and in that way this line would uh, would reach closer to this point okay so that's the first way let me just draw this okay so i'll draw one equation here i'll draw let me just grab a pen okay so i'll draw one thing here this is my original equation y equal to mx plus c if i'll rewrite this equation like this y is equal to y is equal to mx plus c plus 1 c plus 1 
so what i am doing in this equation here i am increasing the value this value okay in instead of c i am taking c plus 1 and in that way my line is moving a little bit up okay and in that way it is go, uh, going closer to this point okay so that's the one way of moving our line closer to a observation okay the second way to do that is the second way is to uh, do that using slope slope of the line so if you notice that y equal to mx plus c this equation okay this equation and if i'll increase the value of m my line would rotate a bit okay so this original line becomes something like this okay because m is slope of the line right and slope is tangent tan theta right uh, this i have explained uh, a lot in previous videos so slope is tan theta or perpendicular by base okay so this is a type of angle okay if the angle got increases the line would rotate okay and in that way if the line rotate it will move closer to this point correct and that's the other way of uh, doing that thing achieving our goal okay so we got two ways of happening something so we can rewrite this whole equation in something different way okay uh, by making use of absolute trick and that would look like this that would look like this the original equation was y equal to mx plus c okay uh, let me just write it in better way the original equation was y equal to m x plus c okay and we wanted to move closer to the point which has coordinate p comma q okay if it has got coordinate p comma q along x and y axis okay then this distance is p and this is q right so originally originally what we had done we had written mx and we had already added 1 to c so the equation becomes y equal to mx plus c plus 1 because we have already added 1 to our line correct now we want to increase our slope as well so what will we do what will we do we will write y is equal to m and we'll take this value this p okay m plus p okay into x and plus c plus i'll write k now here why k because this k could be anything this could be one this could be two okay because we don't know that by how much unit we want to increase this value so the whole equation whole equation becomes like y equal to m plus p x plus c plus k okay and this was this was when our point was above the line okay so in this case our point was here and that is why we added something to our uh, uh, equation and the equation become y equal to m plus p x plus c plus k correct what if my point was below the line okay in that case everything remains same except this plus becomes minus okay so this equation becomes y equal to m minus p into x plus c minus k okay and that is all about absolute trick to move a line closer to a point okay so in this video we talked about absolute trick and in next video we'll talk about one more method of moving a line closer to a point see you soon